Okay, a lot of you have been asking about the chaga. What is chaga tea? This is chaga mushroom right here. It's dried. And you can see right there, that's the surface. It's kind of a black, rough surface. On the inside, it's kind of a kind of a rust-colored brown, kind of a golden color. You can see it there in the in the jar. And uh, you say, where do you get this? Well, it grows here in the north. Um, it'll grow in Siberia, it grows in northern Maine, it grows in Alaska, it grows northern. throughout the, the, the northern part of the Midwest and things. But any kind of northern environment, uh, Sweden and things like that, it'll grow there and uh, on birch trees. Okay, primarily on birch trees. In rare occasions, it'll grow on other trees, but mostly on birch trees. And a good book on it that we're starting to read, I, I'm not going to recommend this as a total, the best thing that you, is out there because he's a new ager and he gets into some weird stuff, but this book right here, um, Chaga King of the Medicinal Mushrooms by David Wolf. He gets into a lot of the superfoods, but here's what Chaga does, okay? On the back of his book, he says, fight cancer and detoxify radioactive and chemotherapeutic agents. So I had that in the, the questions of our one live stream we did. You went through chemotherapy, what do you do to get rid of that stuff out of your body, how to detoxify? Chaga. Uh, create, create super immunity against viruses, by fighting allergies and asthma, balance blood sugar levels, reduce systematic inflammation, heal digestive ailments such as candida, and help the liver purify itself. Nourish the hair, skin, and eyes, help you achieve vibrant health and radiant beauty. Well, I'm, I might not be the best poster child for the radiant beauty, but we'll just let that go. No comments on that, please. Uh, <laughs> but what you do is you take chaga, okay, this is about the easiest recipe that you can get. Where do you get chaga like this? You can look on eBay, people will take this stuff, they'll find it out in the wild, they'll sell it on eBay. Go to a health food store and they have it in a little prepackaged thing or whatever else. I wouldn't trust it for one second. They're, you know, first Timothy chapter 6 verse 10, for the love mm -hmm. of money is the root of all evil. Because of the okay. shelf life. Yeah. If, if it's so, packaged, then it's designed to have a long shelf life. Right. Okay. So you can get on eBay, you can find this stuff, people will go out, they'll find it, they'll cut it, dry it, sell it on eBay. You can, it's about $7 for half a pound, okay, and it'll last you for a long time. Take your chaga, take spring water, up here is our jug of spring water, we go someplace, it's coming out of the pipe, might not have access to that, but make sure you get good spring water. We run it through a Berkey that actually has, we have a few little silver pieces of silver in here, silver coins, you know, fine silver coins as a way of purifying the water even more because silver kills bacteria and then you take that do you want to come over this way back up and you put it in whoop, let me get the hot pad here you put it in a, a pot which i showed there in the other video and all you do like that whoop, it's actually boiling a little bit we don't want it to boil i had the lid on there but you just basically keep it on low up here you can see Okay, you just want to put it on low. I had it on number two just to warm it up this morning. But then you just put your lid on like this. Okay, you just kind of cock it off to the side like that a little bit so that the steam can come up out. And then you just slow cook it for a while. And remember to use natural fibers for your hot pads because synthetic blends yeah. and pure synthetic... That's cotton there, in other words, what she's saying. So if you use a polyester one or acrylic or whatever, it's going to burn when you get hot mm -hmm. stuff on it there. And burn you too. Yep. So, but uh, that is how you do chaga tea. Really not that difficult. Very, very easy to do. And you, you can also use a crock pot. Um, just put it in there and you just want to let it simmer for a while. What we do with it is we actually put the chaga chunks in, spring water, and then you just, you don't bring it to a boil. You just warm it up enough, put the lid on, just let it simmer for a couple of hours. And then you can you can take some out like you would coffee or hot tea or whatever else like cool down drink it and then you replenish the spring water and you just keep on doing that overnight we'll just put the lid on completely shut the heat completely off and and then uh, in the morning we can start it up again which we did there and i wasn't monitoring it that's why it had a little bit of a boil to it it's not going to kill it if you do that it's got properties in it that actually are not going to be killed by boiling you don't normally boil herbal type of stuff but but then you just keep on adding uh, spring water and spring water and spring water until it's no longer coming out really dark like that. And then at that point you can dry the chaga and you can grind it up and put it in, in with food or whatever else. There's other things that you can do. Written about David Wolf's book. So, um, 
really highly recommend it. Tastes like coffee. It does not taste like some kind of a musty, mildewy, mushroom type of smell or something. It just has a really good flavor to it. And, you know, it's really good for you. So, that's going to be it. Try it out. I think you'll like it. All right, now we're going to get some black chaga tea. Go ahead and take the lid off of there. Set that off to the side. And then you take a little ladle here and you can just scoop it out. It's the easiest way to make this stuff. As you can see, it's a nice... Looks kind like of, black coffee. Yep, like a black coffee. If you can drink black coffee, you can drink black chaga tea without any sweeteners in it. And, I, you know, when you get in a really powerful medicinal tea like this, it's best not to put any kind of junk in it. Just drink it straight. Um, again, I used to be a sugar head. I'd put sugar in everything, and you just learn not to, and, and you get your taste buds get used to it, and you get to a point where you hate the taste of sugar in your teas or whatever else. So... This might be wool, but I'm not sure. Wool or cotton. Yep. So, there we go. Black chaga tea. And, uh, all ready to go. Okay, and so after you're done taking some out, then all you got to do is just bring the level up, put some more spring water in, bring it up again a little bit towards the top there, put the lid back on, and you're good. Just let it simmer like that. You can let it simmer all day on the stove, and again, if you're going away or whatever else, just shut the heat off, put the lid on tight at that point in time, and it'll cool down a little bit, and you can just start it up again when you get back. Mm -hmm.